It's talking. Laura dropped it. Is it okay? And the funniest thing just happened. We were focused and it was a competition. Good morning. We just got a box in the mail that I think the kids are going to be really excited about. So they're all still in their pajamas, but I'm not even going to wait. We're just going to open the box right now so we can show it to them. What? What? What is this? That's the girls. What did they do? These are called Hatchimals, and it is a toy that is inside of this egg after it's been taken care of. It's going to start pecking through and it's gonna break the shell off, and you'll see what's inside. Does that, that sound fun? so cool. Yeah. Do, does it actually peck? It does. So it's literally like real? Mostly real? 90% real? <laughs> so it's really going to hatch. What? Yep, do you guys wanna open up? Yeah, yeah. I think I see how yeah. there's tape right there. There's tape, okay. <gasps> do you hear that? <gasps> See the eyes? Did what? You see it? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> it's talking. That's actually but really what, cool. What are you gonna crack open? You gotta take care of it. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. little star. There it is. <laughs> it just talked. I wonder what we should <laughs> name it. It sounds like it's Spanish. It just said hi. It said like that. <laughs> He's sleeping. <gasps> Is it going to be messy on here? Maybe just a little bit, but we'll clean it up. Yeah. He said ow. Laura dropped it. Is it okay? Aww. Its eyes are all red. And it's making sad sounds. <laughs> but Laura's not going to be allowed to hold the baby. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, it's hatching! Huh? Guys, it's hatching! Oh, look, there's the first poop! It's hatching! You can see the little cracks. Mom, you can hatch. You can go on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. This feels like an eggshell. Hey! Is it your Pangola's birthday today? Mm -hmm. Yes, mine! Oh, is your birthday? <gasps> mine! Happy birthday to you! Okay, come here! It's walking to me! Now it's a baby, and then it's gonna grow to be a toddler, and then a kid. So the way you know how to take care of it is its lights flash different colors. When it's orange, it needs to burp, and you have to pat it. Okay, and when it's flashing orange, it has the hiccups, and you have to make a loud sound to scare it away. And say, hick, hick, ha! And then when it goes all the way up to be a kid, then there's games you can play with it. We're so grateful to Spin Master for sending us the Hatchimals and for sponsoring this video. He's upset. It's flashing purple. He's playing a game. So Hatchimals have been hard to get this holiday season, and if you're wanting to learn more about how to get them and to have some activities to do as you're waiting for your Hatchimals to come, Spin Master has made a webpage called hatchimals.com forward slash North Pole, and you can go there to learn more about Hatchimals, where to find them, it has some fun games and activities, so you should check it out. We have a link in the description below. Well, the kids are obsessing over these Hatchimals. Like, I don't think they've stopped playing with them. Aww. Merry Christmas, dude! <laughs> well, this afternoon our family has the opportunity to take some donations to Ronald McDonald House. And Ronald McDonald House, if you're not familiar with it, it's a charity that's located all over the United States. And they're located next to children's hospitals. And what they do is they provide housing for parents of children that are in the hospital and resources and services for those families that are going through those hard times. And we were just talking with our kids about what it would be like to be in the hospital as a child and especially during the holiday season to not be able to be home with their family. So we're gonna be taking them some new toys that Spin Master donated and we're also picking up from the store right now some items that are on our local Ronald McDonald's wish list. All right, we're dividing up girls. 
against boys. Have fun. First item on our list is baby shampoo. I'll do the shampoo. Stores are so busy before Christmas time. Here's baby shampoo. Yep, we found it. Hey, there's mom. I think we're gonna beat him. Let's go. Ah, there's the boys. Hi, boys. We're gonna have one more thing left. Uh-oh. Will they beat us? They might. We need one of these right here, Lizzie. <laughs> we do not need swimsuits, Laura. All right, we got it. We got it. Good job, team. Let's go check out. Fastest Walmart trip ever. We were focused, and it was a competition. Jeremy's our cashier today. Thank you. Checking out is a team effort. Poll question, how long did that Walmart trip take? Give us your guesses up here. We'll reveal the answer at the end of the vlog. Oh, got him. <laughs> Don't look ahead, you cheaters. It's a big rocking chair. Cam calls it the legit rocking chair. Yeah, this one, like, it's no. legit. Oh, it's moving! <laughs> so every year we come to the Ronald McDonald House to prepare a meal for the people here, and we just really love this organization and what they're all about. It's a cool service they provide. So Spin Master, the company that makes Hatchimals, donated these items for us to give to people here at the Ronald McDonald House. Well, every time we drive by the Children's Mercy Hospital downtown, I just get emotional. Like, I tear up just thinking about all of the families that have children there in the hospital and all that they're going through, especially this time of year during the holidays. And it just is a good reminder to me to be so grateful for our health and to pray for everyone that is dealing with those things right now. Well, Jeremy and I are out on a date night tonight and we're driving through some of the pretty parts of town that have gorgeous Christmas lights. We gotta bring the kids back to some of these spots. Kendra's defiling her pizza with spinach in the bottom. It's wonderful. Yeah, I don't know. We have different pizza preferences. Yeah. That's fun. I love snow globes. That makes me ridiculously happy. We could do it all day. Did you grow up in a snow globe? No. <laughs> I think there's a cartoon about that though. Did you grow up with snow globes at your house? No, my mom was wise enough. We had oh. five boys. We did not have glass objects that survived very long in my, my house. My family had one snow globe we got out at Christmas time. It was magical. If we had one of these, Laura would play it all day long. Until Caleb broke it. It's true. So we're ending our date off at Target, and the funniest thing just happened. Jeremy is trying funny. on these awesome slippers he found, and they're just too small, aren't they, babe? They said size 9 or 10, but they feel like <laughs> size 5 or 6. And this is what we discovered. These are women's slippers. They kind of look like <laughs> He's having so much fun laughing at me about this. What's funny we too almost is... bought him women's slippers. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. We should go look in the men's section. Okay, how's up? It's a little bit spicy. Okay. No, I did not. <laughs> 